Hello YouTube, I have made a small purchase times by 35 because uh, I'm going to go two ways with my battery bank project what we're going to do is we're going to take 35 of these cell holders and place them into several rows giving us 20 parallel and 7 series and what we're going to do is use up all of the nasty low capacity possibly unreliable cells that I've collected so far and bearing in mind I've made no progress in this new year absolutely no progress at all I've got one laptop battery in stock and what we're going to do is we're going to take the possibly unreliable cells that we've already processed and put them into a power shelf uh, because why the hell not let's suck every last milliamp hour out of some of these potentially duff cells and in the meantime use their capacity to charge other good cells so yeah 35 of these beasts and I'm running out of space so yeah basically I've had a dry month absolutely no cells whatsoever I have found half a dozen maybe eight cells that I haven't processed so far okay basically I've got 33 two are missing action already they're probably in the back of the van somewhere falling out the packet um, yes so we're going to do five deep seven wide and all the duff cells, all the, all the potentially um, bad cells that we got where the capacities are showing that they're near the end of their life. I'm going to go into this, we're going to run a 24 volt uh, bank for testing and uh, I want to check my 24 volt UPS uh, inverters, see if they're any good. Um, yes, so what do you think? Uh, is it a good idea? Too late, I've already bought half the stuff. Um, solder is not going to be a problem for the majority of this project. Uh, <clears throat> fuse wire on the other hand, I've got a big spool of 5 amp fuse wire. Uh, I'm thinking currently for this project it doesn't actually have to have uh, a fuse per cell. We might just put a 5 amp fuse per, per 4 cells. It's not going to make a huge difference with these duff cells if we lose a few along the way. Bought the ones with pins. Uh, it's going to mean we've got lots of soldering to do. I'm quite happy to do lots of soldering because my soldering is naff and I need to learn how to solder nicely so we're gonna play with some soldering uh, I'm, I'm not too upset if people take the mick out of my soldering you know it's, it's one of those things I'm just not good at it yet the board is just because it's a bit of wood that I have that's covering up the mess that's below all <laughs> below all these cell holders uh, yeah so yeah basically thinking we're gonna Turn a couple of these upside down, I think, for the minute. What I'm thinking basically is if we line two of these up together like this, we're going to have a negative side here, we're going to have a positive side here, and it's got to join onto these cells here. Um, rather than going down and up with the side and all that, we're going to take some twin and earth. This is a 6mm bit of twin and earth. We're going to get some 10mm twin and earth, which we've got some scrap of in the van. We're going to strip one of the cores out. We're going to strip the entire uh, insulation off. And we're going to run that down the middle. So we'll have a negative buzz bar. Uh, next one will have a positive to negative buzz bar. We're not going to colour it. It's just going to be bare copper. And what we're going to do is we're going to solder links across to it. I think. In my mind it works. We're going to solder links across to it. Probably going to actually use uh, for that. We're going to go across to some 2.5 twin and earth, which is obviously a little bit smaller. And uh, just solder a link across. 
um, on the negative side. On the positive side, we may as well attempt our first fuse. Uh, whether I'm going to join the four positive ends up with a bit of 2.5 or 4 mil, maybe 4 mil. 4 mil might be better. It's going to be fiddly to solder, but it might be worth a try. Or just keep it as individual fuses for each cell. Either way, I'm not too fussed. Let me know what you think. Uh, and then obviously uh, from the, the far negative side to the far positive side we're going to have uh, some sort of crimp eye or something to uh, take the power off and we can just nut and bolt various different things to it and a good fuse, a big fuse I don't know what sort of fuse no, no not a big fuse maybe a 30 amp fuse it's just for testing and for playing purposes uh, a duff cell is going to go in it maybe at a later stage when, I, when I've got enough money together we can go and get uh, 140 good 3 amp hour cells uh, and that would be quite a significant pack uh, in, the, in the scheme of things at this moment in time so yeah let me know what you think I have 35, 33 of these holders and we're going to make a small power shelf thank you for watching uh, as with anything uh, all of your ideas, comments uh, both positive and negative stick them in the uh, comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible Thank you for watching. Once again, I'm off because it's raining.